Hello everyone, this is Lakshman. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the famous entry questions that is, what is the difference between arrays and collections? First, let me define what is an array. An array is an indexed collection of fixed number of homogeneous data elements. That means, array can be hold only homogeneous data elements. Okay. So first let me see uh, the difference between arrays and the collection. Arrays are fixed in size. That means once we create an array, there is no chance of creating or decreasing the size based on our requirement. Hence to use arrays concept, compulsory we should know the size in advance, which may not possible always. Whereas collections, collections can be increased or decreased based on our requirement. Whereas in arrays, arrays are used to hold only homogeneous elements. Whereas collections are used to hold both homogeneous and heterogeneous elements. Collections are used to hold both primitive types and object arrays. That means arrays can hold the data types, primitive data types and also object arrays. Whereas collections can be used only to hold objects but not primitive. Okay, so collections are cannot hold the primitive data types. Okay. So in arrays there is no underlying data structure and hence no ready-made method support is not available. Whereas collections are implemented based on some data structures, hence ready-made method supports are available. With respect to memory, array is not recommended to use. So if you are thinking about if you are considering about a memory utilization then arrays concept is, is not recommended to use in your project. So with respect to memory utilization, then it is highly recommended to use as a collection. So with respect to performance, arrays are recommended to use. So if you are considering about performance, then you should go through arrays concept. Whereas with respect to performance, collections concept is not recommended to you. So these are the main differences uh, between arrays and collections. I hope you are enjoying my videos. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest videos. Thank you for watching.